Oh, I always write perfectly. What are you talking about? So in this problem, what they're asking us to do is they're asking write the equation of the circle if the endpoints of a diameter are at 7 comma 6 and negative 1 comma negative 8. All right? So what I'm going to do in this example, Dimitri, is when you guys have a problem like this, if you guys remember word problems, Alex, the best thing to do is always to plot your points, right? Draw a graph, draw a picture, whatever. So let's plot these points. 7 comma 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 7 comma 6 and then negative 1, negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So those are the endpoints of the diameter. So we can connect those and say that is the distance across my circle, right? And I'm going to try to do my best and say the circle is going to look something like that. Not going to be exact, but it's going to look something like that, right? OK. So now, if I want to do to find the equation, so we know the equation of a circle looks like this. r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, right? So to find everything, there's a couple points we need to figure out. One, we need to figure out what h and k are. So remember, h and k is going to be my center which is going to be roughly right around here. That's just me estimating. But I'm not going to guess that exactly my point is at 3 comma negative 1. That's what it looks like on the graph, though, that I made up. But what's the way to find? Your, if you find your center, is your center directly between your endpoints of a diameter? Yes. So what formula can I use then to find that center point? Midpoint formula. So remember, the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divide by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2, right? So now we just need to determine what are these points. Let's label them. So the first one was 7 comma 6, and this one is negative 1 comma negative 8. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter which one you want to give x1, which one you want to give x2. Let's do this one as x1, this one as y1. Here it will be x2, here's y2. You can label them the other way if you'd like, all right? So let's add them up. x1 plus x2. So x1 is 7 plus a negative 1 divided by 2, comma, y1 is 6 plus negative 8 divided by 2. Do my math. 6 divided by 2 is 3, comma, negative 1. I was a pretty good grapher, wasn't I? Looks at the center is at 3, comma, negative 1. All right? But now, to still finish up my formula, so can I erase the midpoint formula? Does everybody have that written down? Yes. All right. So now, once we have my midpoint formula, now we know r squared equals x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared. But what is the piece of information I still do not know? We do not know x and y. And we do not know, what else do we not know? Well, we figured out h and k. h and k now are, are 3 comma negative 1. So what else do we not know? We don't know r, right? We don't know what r is. And we don't know what x and y are. Now, do we want to figure out what x and y are? We're trying to write the equation. What do x and y represent? x and y represent points that are on the circle. How many points are there on a circle? Are there five points on a circle? There's infinite many points on a circle, right? So yes, we can use given points for x and y on a circle to help us find other values. But when we write an equation, our x and y are going to be our variables that we're going to want to leave. So the only piece of information that I still need to figure out is going to be my r, because my r is going to be constant for, all, for this whole circle, right? It's not going to change. However, the x and y's for the circle will always change. Okay, So what I'm going to want to do now is now figure out my r. Well, if I know the distance, I'm sorry, not my uh, Yeah. So I figured out what the midpoint was. But now I need to figure out what is that distance from the center to one of my points. So I need to pick which point do I want to find the distance from. 
three negative one to seven six or three negative one to negative one uh, negative eight. It doesn't matter, Alex, because the distance has to be exactly the same because it's the radius, right? Yes? So let's just pick one. I'll pick on Ava. Which distance would you like me to pick? To which point? This point or this point? I'm sorry? The top one? That one? OK. So now, if I've already labeled this x1, y1, let's label this one. Uh, we can just label this as another point. Let's label this x3 minus um, x3 and y3. OK? So therefore, my distance formula, distance is going to be the square root of x3 minus x1. It doesn't matter what you're subtracting plus y3 minus y1 squared. Okay? I know the general formula is x2, y2. We already did an x1 and y1, so I just want to I'll change it to x3s. It's OK. So now, what is my x3? x3 is 3 minus x1, which is 7, squared plus y3, which is negative 1, minus 6 squared. <coughs> So 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Plus uh, negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. Negative square, 7 squared is 49. And that's the square root of d equals. So therefore, d equals the square root of 65. Yes? So now d equals the square root of 65. Well. If d equals the square root of 65, what does d squared equal? 65. So therefore, we can say that r squared is now equal to 65. So now we have just written our equation of our circle. OK? Any questions? Yes?